Hi everyone and welcome to Almost Cancelled. I'm Peter and this is Connor. Hey guys. We're going to talk about Dead of Summer, Season 1, Episode 4. It's called Modern Love. Full spoilers, as always. Now, I... I already know where you go with this. I, I would love to hear opinions from transgender people on this one. I really would, because... The entire episode focuses on the backstory of Drew, whose name I definitely remember now because they beat it's it into our heads. Like a million times. Over the course of the episode. And the last couple of weeks I've I've been saying, possibly transgender, but we're not really sure what the backstory is. But this episode made it clear that it is a, someone who, born a girl, uh, grew up wanting, feeling like she was a boy. Um, Do you know what my weirdest problem is? What's that? It feels so mundane in this show. It feels mundane. Actually, my problem is more just that it the writing does not feel up to the quality to tackle a subject like this, even remotely. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't. Because, now, maybe I'm wrong here, right, but the opening scene where she's a little girl and she's, she's like, oh, I drew a picture of myself, Mom, and she puts it on the fridge, and it's a, it's a picture of a boy she drew. Yeah. And her mom's like, but that, that's silly. That's a boy. He's like, yeah, I'm a boy. Like, I'm a. It felt so ham-fisted to me. I, I don't know, is this accurate? <laughs> but it feels really. Maybe it's just that it's meant to be that obvious that it is ham-fisted almost. Maybe I don't know. It just it felt like there was no tact to anything nah. in this episode. It, it was just throwing out. It was like someone just thought of all these scenarios that. So someone who didn't know anyone who's transgendered, right? And they just sort of thought in their head, what were all the things that might happen as someone's growing up? And they just wrote the first things down when it came to their head. That sounds like most of this show, to be honest. Not just this episode. True, but it feels worse when it's tackling a subject like this. That is true. Um, <laughs> that said, at least they got the moral of the story right this week. That's <laughs> true. That's true, because last week it was, <laughs> if you're fat, well, you better lose weight fat, so because you're never going to get anything in life. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So you've got to give him at least a little bit of credit there. Oh, uh, God. Um, that said, though, or actually, so jumping to the end of the, the backstory, so the mother kind of accepts him when she, she sees how happy he is when he can just be himself. Right? Okay, nice, nice. And then she abandons him in the next scene. And that, that scene stuck out to me, not because it was like a flip from what we'd seen the mother be like in the previous scene, but... Because wait a minute, can parents really just abandon their teenagers like that? Like, like the house looks as if it's been emptied. Does 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 Drew have a place to live? I don't know. Do, it's a good question. Uh, is the mother still funding the house so that Drew can still live there? I'd assume so, but I, I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't get it either. Because she left like someone leaves their partner when they break up. <laughs> with and a that, note and everything. Yeah, yeah, with a note, and it's just like. You couldn't have had a, a conversation about this? Uh, did you tell Drew where you're going? Uh, like, nah, nah. Uh, this just seemed ex exceptionally cold-hearted. and Because uh, it's not like when you break up with, so up with someone and you might be doing it because they, they've done something wrong or they've been doing something wrong for a long time or you've realised something about them that's bad that you just can't gel with. You know, like... Yeah. They might be a, not always. Obviously, sometimes it's just a mutual thing. But sometimes someone in a relationship can be a villain, right? They're the sure. villain of the the breakup, as it were. This felt especially cold-hearted because, I, I guess from the mom's point of view, he killed her daughter. Like that's kind of what it sounded like. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it was weird, wasn't it? Yeah, I, I'd love to hear some opinions from people who actually have some experience uh, with this. Cause yeah. Because to me, it just feels really ham-fisted, and I don't know what if any parts of it are actually even remotely like real or accurate or uh, treat it with any kind of respect. The weird thing is you've also got to consider that this is set in the 80s, so it's like the attitudes, people, yeah. people's attitudes are different, so it's like, yeah. Do yeah, they get away with it a bit more? Yes, yeah, well, it's the, 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 I can't, I can't remember her name, but the, 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 the prettier Billy girl, she, like, her calling her freak and things like that, you know, like, you know, like... Yeah, like, you you can, 
that that's allowed, I think, because it's set in the 80s. Yeah, exactly. And even if it was set today, you still expect there's some assholes out there who would be like sure, that. Sure, but you can get like a little bit further, yeah. and you don't, you, don't, you don't have to question it as much, because you just think that's how things were. It just it feels very, and it really drew attention to me. And I I thought this last like two episodes actually, ever since we found out at the end of the first one, that it was actually like, you know, a girl pretending to be a guy. And the way he just kind of like, stopped like because in the first episode they kind of filmed them always back in the distance and hair was always over the face. But ever since they revealed it, it's always seemed really obvious that it's actually a female. Cause, yeah. Because it's an actress playing the character, and. I have trouble buying that all the other characters can't Don't see it. Yeah, yeah, clearly tell that it's a female the entire time. Because you couldn't in the first episode. You couldn't, but they they kind of looked at a lot of filming tricks to make sure we couldn't. They did, but you almost feel like if they'd continued those tricks, at least you could feel like you were seeing it through their lens. Exactly. Yeah, you'd feel like you were with them in that. But even though you know you can see how they get away with it. Yeah. So that was, yeah. Ham fisted, uh, and then the gay guy, uh, acts all hurt and shocked when he finds out, uh, which, fair enough, I, I guess that makes, I mean, straight guys don't like when they find out, like, their female companion used to be a man, I suppose a gay guy wouldn't be particularly chuffed when he finds out that his male companion used to be a woman, or Probably is, not. So, I, I guess that makes sense, but, again, it's not... The show has not got the writing or the tact or the subtlety or the skill to even remotely tackle these issues. <laughs> so, which is it's a dilemma because you're like, yeah, you want to see more of it on TV, but then it's like, well, do you really want to see more of it at this quality? Yeah. It's yeah like, it's... Do you have it at a bad quality or not have it at all? I'm not sure which is better. I don't know. Uh, it'd be interesting to hear. So, people, let us know. Uh, otherwise, this episode. Uh, the Baker uh, cult dudes were sort of just spying on people. And... Literally nothing happened. Yeah. Well, no, there was one cool moment. That demon hand coming out of the water. All right. Was... All right. One cool moment in a 40-minute episode. I, I grant you. It was... lasted for, like, what, 10 seconds? Yeah, it was the only cool moment. Every other horror thing that happened, you know, Drew seeing, like, ghosts of our, our girl past and things like that were all just kind of shit. Awful, Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this show's pretty bad. Uh, oh, and uh, Camera Dude has uh, got a Juliet from Lost uh, out in a little picnic in the in the woods. Remind me why we're still watching this. I, I don't... See, it's worse now. And I'll tell you why it's worse. Because we're watching Stranger Things. We've got a full season spoiler review coming of that later this week. And that's a show also set in the 80s that's trying to evoke feelings of being made in the 80s and all that kind of thing. And it is doing it exceptionally well. I've literally watched one episode and it's infinitely better. This show, on the other hand, now looks like complete shit <laughs> by comparison. So, uh, but I guess that's what happens when you have Netflix's, uh, Netflix making a show compared to well, Freeform. Who I'm, does? I'm, I'm learning maybe we shouldn't trust Freeform. Hey, they've, they've got a show about Aqua. Ah, they've got, they've got a Marvel thing, haven't they? Uh, well, I've got a Marvel thing with Cloak and Dagger, but they've also got a show about uh, a town being attacked in a war from Oh, Merman. is this the mermaid one? Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm so excited for that. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds insane. Oh, dear. Yeah, so that that's Dead of Summer. I don't know. Did anything else happen of interest? I don't think so. <laughs> Nothing happened. They, they, they saw, oh, she has a mask. We should follow her. And then... Well, I don't what, know what happened. Nothing well, happened. A lot of David Bowie references. There was. And I can't tell if they were added in later. I mean, they all make sense within the context, so they might not have been. Well, but when did he pass away? January? Yeah, they wouldn't have to have been added in later. They, no. they, they would have been filming this right up until... Yeah, good point. Uh, I think that would have... I'm not saying they made the decision to do it No, I mean, were they in but... the script beforehand? Yeah, but no, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I, I, I mean that may have still been a decision to add them in, but I think if whether well, it was or it wasn't, I don't think it was added later. I think it was still enough time to, yeah, yeah. to do it. So, uh, yeah, then of summer episode four, it's it's getting uh, worse. It's getting worse. Are we quitting this? It's, it's not even that it's getting worse. It's getting more mundane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we calling it? Because we don't really need it. 
Yeah, let's call it. I don't need it in my life. We, the next show we're doing is Mr. Robot. <laughs> the show we did before this... Well, it was actually Kill Joys, but that was because it was late. But the show we should have done before this was The Night Of. <laughs> yeah, this this cannot go between those two. It can't. <laughs> yeah, everything about it is just worse than that. Comparison. That can't be my week. The Night Of, Mr. Robot, and then this in the middle. Oh my god. Uh, so, yeah. That, this will now be our last review of Dead of Summer because it's really bad. And the music's still good. I enjoyed the music, but that's not enough to keep me watching at this point. I'll, I'll just listen to a soundtrack later at some point. <laughs> yeah, it's a good idea. The music is pretty good. Uh, yeah, actually, one last note on the music before we go. Is that it when they kissed and it just swells up out of nowhere? It's like, that was awesome. <laughs> that was good, but no, no, um, that's what I was going to say. See the main little theme that it plays sometimes? The do 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 Yeah. Dun, dun. Right? I realise why I like that so much. Go on. It's basically a carbon copy of one of the main themes from Fringe. Uh, I don't know Fringe's music well enough. It's because that, that one's obviously got more of a sort of a gentle touch to it, whereas Fringe's it's all horns and like it's like the teams getting geared up to go and fight things. But because and the reason why I, I noticed it is because I was humming it and I went into the Fringe theme. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, I so, don't know Fringe's music well enough to recognise it. I'll have to but, go and check that out. Yeah, yeah, I'll send you a link. But anyway, uh, that's Dead of Summer. That's the last review of it. We just can't do it anymore. It's not very good. So we made it four episodes in. I think that's a fair... We gave it a shot. ...fair chance to see how it went, but it wasn't very good. So, yeah, let us know what you think of the show. Uh, you continue with it, let us know, because we aren't. But uh, like and subscribe and all that stuff. Thanks very much for watching, guys. We will see you next time for other shows. Mm -hmm.